the first and only visible supermoon of 2017 will occur on the night of December 3, shining up to 16% brighter and 7% larger than normal. Because the lunar orbit of the Earth is not perfectly circular, its distance with us varies. A supermoon happens when the perigree, the closest point to the Earth in the orbit of the Moon, coincides with the full Moon. This makes the Moon look bigger and brighter in the sky than normal. Ascending astronomers on the East Coast need only stay awake until 4 a.m. ET of December 4 to see the Moon at its closest distance to Earth, just 222.443 miles. During the average apogee, when the Moon is farthest from the Earth, this distance extends to approximately 252,000 miles, according to NASA. Londoners can, for once, take advantage of the best of the short winter days in their city and observe the supermoon or full cold moon, as traditionally known as the last supermoon of the year, at 4.40 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. The Romans can do the same at 17 Greenwich Mean Time plus 1 local time. Rome will also be the site of a live broadcast courtesy of the Virtual Telescope Project. The astrophysicist Gianluca Massi, scientific director of the project, urged the casual astronaut not excited by the supermoon to adjust their expectations. These are not really obvious variations, but they add charm to the event, a precious opportunity to admire our natural satellite in the night sky context, a landscape more and more forgotten. However, to see the supermoon in its most vivid form, be sure to take a look just after sunrise. A phenomenon called lunar illusion makes the celestial body look much larger than its maximum height. If you live in the state of Washington, you can also watch the full moon pass over the bright star Aldebaran. This concealment will be visible from Seattle, WS, at 6.09 a.m. The star will be visible again starting at 6.46 a.m. Anchorage. Alaska will witness the concealment at 4.38, while Aldebaran will re-emerge at 5.32 a.m. This is almost shy of the moon filling at 6.46 a.m. throughout the world. You can spy on the event from northern Canada, Russia, China and Bangladesh. Although November did not see a supermoon, it did give us the closest moon of the year so far in the entire moon beaver. The full cold moon will be the only moon of the year to dwarf that of November which reached about 227,000 miles of land in Perigree. 